Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. If everybody kickboxed like this young woman, I think kickboxing would have better ratings. I'm excited to see what she can do here as she tries to showcase her abilities in this particular matchup. Just a versatile, impressive arsenal of kicks, obviously to go along with the solid punching technique that has produced a lot of her knockouts. She is a dangerous proposition for anyone caught in her striking range. This girl has amazing blocking technique. She can stand right in front of you, and you just can't hit her cleanly. She has such a huge advantage in that, and knowing that she has the ability to block and parry all of the different techniques that are coming her way. Well, there is no denying this woman's technique when it comes to her kicking game. But it's the speed that I think really jumps off the film for me. She doesn't telegraph a damn thing, gets her foot to the target blindingly fast. Fighters don't even see it coming. Certainly her opponent has to be weary of the lightning fast kicks coming her way tonight. This girl is a really well-rounded fighter, a full and complete mixed martial artist with an arsenal of techniques from Muay Thai, kickboxing, Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, wrestling, boxing, she can really do it all. So very unpredictable in that regard and very comfortable no matter where the fight goes. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. So two years, the gap in age with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC Bantamweight Division. It should be seen first. Fighting at the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making a professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina, Awesome. And now we can see her opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record on. Seven wins, no losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Body out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Mackenzie Dunn! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Oh, All right, ready to go here with live action from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Excellent feint with the kick. Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nice. Lands a jab. Welcome to the jungle. Lands a big right hand early. Nice head kick. Oh, big shot. Great takedown defense right there. Very nicely done. Switching stances here. Straight right hand, but she misses. Big punch. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. She pummels under here, Joe. Now she's got the underhook. Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. It looks like this submission's locked. She's still working this choke. Getting tighter. Great job in establishing that submission. Well, no doubt it was quick, and you knew if she could take this fight to the ground that her opponent was gonna be in trouble. So the takedown comes early, and so does the submission win. You know she's got great instincts when it comes to finishing fights. Once she gets them to the canvas, 
safe to say mission accomplished for her here tonight. Let's look at it from a different angle. Reverse triangle, perfectly executed for the submission victory. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle, Mackenzie Bell!